Okay, I'm finally getting around to the April month's box from Video Games Monthly, and this time it's no April Fool's joke. So, already been opened, already been looked at, but you don't know, so let's dive in. And usual card on top, and the little extra goodie that came in this month, I can always use these. Uh, the Video Games Monthly koozie. And then starting off with NES games. Here we go, first one. Mule. Mule, I don't really know a whole lot about, and what little bit I played of it, it seems like it would be a port of like a old PC game, like a Commodore 64 or um, Apple II type game. Uh, it seems like a strategy based type game. I would kind of put it in the category of Oregon Trail, uh, but I haven't got into it enough to really know uh, how it goes when you you fully play it out. So uh, I loved Oregon Trail. I love those strategy type games from this era. So I'm looking forward to getting into this one. And I'm pretty sure I had this one on my uh, wish list, and that was because I had read good things about it in the uh, NES Ultimate NES uh, Guidebook. Next one on here, one that was certainly on my wish list. One that I've never played but I really wanted to um, and that is Popeye and Popeye is one of those great arcade style games and there's several of these that I've asked for and I've gotten from from video games monthly another one that comes to mind is Load Runner another arcade style game that I, I really enjoyed and so um, uh, I'm very happy with this one video games monthly thank you for Popeye and this one's a pretty good value game too Next one is Bump and Jump. And Bump and Jump is a um, it's a racing game. And the one of the interest it, 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 it controls pretty well and one of the interesting features of it is you can jump. And obviously in the name Bump and Jump. So you're bumping against the other cars, you're jumping over obstacles like rivers or walls and things like that. Uh, this one's a pretty fun game. And then the next one is Kung Fu Heroes. This one was also on my wish list. Uh, I know this because I'm pretty sure this game is also available for the Sega Master System. And I believe I played it with a buddy of mine um, when we were coaching, we were working together, and he brought his up to the coach's office and we plugged it up and, and played. So I remember it, really enjoying this game. It's kind of a top-down isometric view uh, almost kind of like the view you would see from uh, Legend of Zelda, the first one. And he fights and punches uh, different characters going around and go level by level. So, uh, pretty fun game. And then finally, the Super Nintendo game I got in here is called Family Dog. I don't know a thing about this game. Uh, well, I, I know a little bit now because I have played them all to capture the footage like what you're seeing up there. Uh, it's uh, the art style I really enjoy. It's kind of like, a, I feel like there may have been a TV show that went along with this. Could be wrong. But uh, the controls in the game aren't that great. It feels a little, the controls seem a little sluggish, a little unresponsive. Um, uh, but it's a, it's a decent enough uh, side-scrolling platformer. So there is my April box, and we'll see you next time with the May box from Video Games Monthly.